Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, back again with another mod day. And today's mod that we are going to be showcasing is a cool little mod that adds military themed assets into the level editor. So these are just basic models that you can put in, just like this house or this mailbox or stop sign. And um, in this case, it's military themed. So what comes in here are different military tents, which aren't in 3.0 yet. And I think that they're actually improved compared to the military tents in 2.0. And also it comes with some sandbag barriers, some military shooting targets, and a military jet. Now the jet isn't the prettiest one, but um, you know, it's a jet. It can be used, um, you know, if you if you cover it with like rubble and stuff like that to make it look like a jet crash, it'll do a great job with that. But I'm going to be showing you guys the assets that came in it. So um, it adds these into the small category of the objects tab. And I already have the lights added from the previous um, mod A, which I've added to these street lights, which are pretty cool. Well, actually, I need to... I added two of the same types of flickering lights so that they were flickering at the same time. But now you see they're flickering at different times. Anyway, um, just OCD, sorry. <laughs> but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out all of the assets that came in this pack right here at the end of this highway. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you guys uh, want to know how to make something like this, which is extremely simple and you can make it in like 15 minutes, or just basics on the level editor, I will link uh, the 3.0 level editor tutorial in the description down below. Uh, I basically walk you step by step on how to make this, this island with the trees and, and buildings and roads and all that jazz. Anyway, so um, let's uh, flatten out this area. All right, so now let's move on to the objects that were added. So in the objects, go to small, and now it's covered with all this jazz. Um, I probably should have removed the lighting mod before I entered in this because it will make it easier to find it. But uh, we have the medical tent, which is here, and I, I guess I'll just put that down right here. Click E. Now the creator of the mod, I'm not sure what was going on, but he might have modeled it like on the wrong axes. So whenever you spawn all of the objects that come in this asset pack, they're going to spawn like facing uh, the wrong way. So you do have to change it. And um, luckily there is snap. If you hold control, it will snap it every 15 degrees or you can change it down below. So now it's perfectly flat and we can place it down, make sure it's flat on the ground. So. I think the black frame around this medical tent really makes it look a lot better than what is in uh, 2.0. I don't know, you guys can comment it down below, but I really like that frame right there. Kind of wish it was connected like right here and like uh, around the vertexes, but um, yeah, I definitely think that this is a new and improved medical tent and it's super cool. So um, it's also an added bonus that the tents aren't in 3.0 yet, so it's nice that we are still able to add this kind of stuff. And um, I'm going to go into the terrain and make this whole area over here dirt. There we go. So that is the medical tent. Now let's move on to the next object. I think that one's pretty cool. There is the range targets. Now these um, are also in 2.0, but these are also new and improved. I definitely think that this guy should be in charge of the modeling um, compared to Nelson. Nothing wrong with you, Nelson, but uh, you know I'm liking it. this guy's models a bit more. And these ones are just a bit more detailed than the ones that are in 2.0. And once again, uh, these aren't in 3.0 yet. So it's just kind of a, a little way for you to have access to these things. And um, I'm gonna put down a few of these and uh, I'll show you what that looks like. So I'll just continue putting these down. Alright, so I just arranged around a few of them. Luckily there is the control C and control V function which made that kind of nice. And then I added some gravel around so it makes it look uh, pretty sweet. I like it. And um, actually now that I think about it, I should probably make one of them laying down. There you go. So I laid one down like that, the front one. Super cool. Anyway, so those are the little uh, range targets that um, are in this asset pack as well. As an opposite to the medical tent, we have the military tent, which I also think is new and improved. It is kind of dark, um, which I definitely think should be lightened up a bit to be more of an olive green, because right now it's like a really dark green. Anyway, so it's pretty much the exact same dimensions and all that from the medical tent. It's just a different color theme, and it has these little pouches on the back that are basically little flaps, and that way you can open them up 
and make them into windows. Now, obviously, those aren't functional, but that's, that's what they're used in real life, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, so that is the medical tent and the military tent looking pretty cool, but that is not it. We also have the sandbags. Now, these aren't like the droppable and placeable sandbags like in Unturned 2.0. These are new and improved ones. Now, they are. <laughs> this guy really needs to get his, uh, his colors right, but uh, these ones are definitely oriented in a more realistic manner. Because um, if you look at pictures of sandbags in real life, you will notice that they aren't, like, big. They're just literally a bunch of bags stacked on top of each other. And so these ones are more realistically sized compared to the four that um, are made up of Nelson's model. So um, that can be looked at bad and good, um, because bad, you have to place down more of them. Um, but good, because it's more realistic. Um... But to me, I think this kind of just looks like big stacks of butter, <laughs> not necessarily sandbags. So it definitely does need a texture. So that is one thing that needed to be added to this one. So for that reason, I'm just going to delete those because they aren't the, the most prettiest ones. But, you know, it's simple fixes and stuff like that. And here is the military jet. Now, um, I'll show you what it looks like just normally. And then I will, I guess, uh, pizzazzify it. Um, to make it look more like a plane crash. Um, so as you can see, from a distance, it looks like a jet. It's like, awesome, dude, check that out, it's a jet. But when you get up closer, you kind of notice the amateurish modeling in it. So it has this preset little cockpit thing, and then uh, this preset little back hump, and uh, the wings are pretty good. And um, so anyway, it seems kind of, of basic, and definitely has room for improvement. But um, as I discussed earlier, if you want to, you can make it more into a plane crash, which I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing right now. Alright, so I've basically just tipped it over and added like a trail of materials behind it to make it look like it just crash landed and skidded across the ground before it just sat here and, and died for a long time. And I think um, when you use the model in this way, it looks a lot better. And um, so I, don't, I think it should definitely not be used as like a, a jet like sitting in a hangar. I think it looks pretty sweet when you make it like crash landed like that. But anyway, that is the military jet, and with that, that is all the assets that are added into Unturned 3.0 with this asset pack. It adds the medical tent, military tent, uh, gun targets, the military jet, and then some little sandbags to kind of finish the place off. So I definitely think that these are cool little things that you can add for replacements in your own world. So if you're trying to make like a little military outpost or something uh, like a, like the military base in Unturned 2.0, trying to recreate it, this is definitely some assets that will help you out with that process. I definitely think that um, if you get creative with it, you can turn the um, not so great models into something super cool as I did here. But anyway, that is the Unturned Mod A of today. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any mods or come across any mods, make sure to comment it down below and I will make sure to write it down in my little notepad for the future mod days to come. But that is all I have for now. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that to Richard. Because you know what he's doing. He's out.